Backpack Battles has dropped a well-awaited update introducing five new combinations, all of which are pretty dope. Some might be a little overpowered. I'm gonna cover all the new items in the new update and see what's good and what's not. Also, feel free to tune into my Twitch streams. I play Backpack Battles with my mini army and I hope to see you guys there. Starting up, we have the Thorn Bloom, a universal item made from the Thorn Whip and a Stamina Potion. The Thorn Bloom on hit gains you one spike with a 30% chance of gaining one empowerment. When you gain that one empowerment, you also increase your maximum health by seven and the damage is increased by one for every spikes that you have. Basically, this takes the Thorn Whip and adds a chance of gaining Gaining empowerment and then it makes you gain maximum health on each empowerment that you gain whether it's from the whip itself or from a carrot doesn't matter you're going to gain that maximum health for, for every empowerment that you gain it also adds more utility to the base weapon of the thorn whip i find this worked really really well when combined with the claws of attack because of the synergy with claws of attack and the thorn bloom you can also rock this with non-stamina using items such as daggers or dragons or even the berserker pets to utilize that empowerment more effectively overall i think this is a pretty solid item and it's pretty fun to use and i rate this one a nice eight out of ten Next one is the Serpent Staff. This weapon uses four mana to gain two damage and it inflicts one poison for every four damage it will deal. And on top of that, opponents have a chance to reduce poison is reduced by 30%. This is basically the Reaper's version of the Fire Staff from Pyromancer in my opinion. But on paper, it sounds really good. And surprisingly, it performs pretty well, especially when combined with those Corrupted Crystals for that Reaper survivability. Now, Instead of rocking this with the Reaper, I rocked this with the Ranger and I treated it like a fire staff by putting a bunch of gloves on it. The damage output of the staff is actually pretty decent and it's nice to have that extra damage from poison, right? Plus using the poison for block with Corrupted Crystals helped a lot, not to mention the block that you'll gain when you use this with the stone gloves. Overall, it was really fun to use and I can definitely see this weapon being very good once it gets solidified within the community a little bit longer and we find some really Really nice builds to use it with. I give this one a nice 7 out of 10. The next item we have is the Spike Staff for Berserker, which uses four mana to gain two empowerment. And during Battle Rage, it'll also gain you two spikes. It's created from the Magic Staff and a Spike Collar. Now this weapon I feel is best used with the Wolf Emblem. Reason being is the pets can benefit from the gaining of empowerment for infinite DPS scaling. You can also use this with the Wisdom Puppy in combination with the Moon Shield to gain you the mana needed in order to feed the staff in the first place. Besides the puppies, you can also use this with daggers and dragons, just anything that pretty much benefits from empowerment, which is basically any weapon, but for stamina usage, I would recommend just daggers, dragons, or just the berserker pets themselves. Overall, this weapon was pretty decent to use. I feel like it might be a little, you know, a little in, it might need some tweaking, but it was a still pretty good weapon to use, and I'm rated a nice 7 out of 10. And finally, we have the King Crown and the King Goober. Now, the King Crown is made from the Glowing Crown with a box of jewels. And you combine that with the Goober and you get the King Goober. Now, the King Crown will heal you for five every three seconds and protects one buff from being removed from you along with your basic Glowing Crown stats with being invulnerable for two seconds at the cost of 12 mana. The new thing with the gemstones is that the gem slots have a 50% increase to their effects. And this item has two gem slots, which is, which is pretty cool. In my opinion, I do feel like this item is a little bit underwhelming considering the cost it takes to make along with once combined, you will no longer receive jewels. But my favorite part is the increased effect of jewels inside of the armor slots. I still don't think the item is worth 18 gold, but I do like the new mechanic. And I think it's awesome to introduce it into the game. And for the Goobert, on six activations, it will heal you for 25 and protect two buffs from being removed. It'll also use six mana to become invulnerable for one second up to three seconds. I think this item is pretty awesome. The 25 heal is huge. And it's really cool that the Goobert has six stars for six different activation slots. Now, I combined this with the Staff of Unhealing because the 25 heal turns into 25 damage really fast. This also shares the 50% increase in jewels slots which is a bonus and the invulnerability can be really clutch honestly overall i give this item a nice 8 out of 10 and now for an honorable mention is the platinum card 
it now has a 10% chance of protecting the bus from being removed from you, which, you know, that's pretty good. And uh, goodbye, uh, Chamber. Now, let me know in the comments which builds you guys are excited to play with. What are you cooking up in your heads? What combos are you looking to try out? And um, yeah, that was about it. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield.